time for Mr. Fix-It, powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Well, 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 our buddy Lou Manfredini back with us. How you doing, Lou? I'm doing great. How about yourself, my dear? Doing great. What are we talking about today? We're going to talk about some projects that I want people to consider uh, doing as the weather starts to turn. Now, these are little things that if you don't take care of it right now, it can become a huge problem for you um, all winter and then possibly in the spring. Number one is your garden hose. How many of you still have the garden hose stuck and hanging on there? Watch as I take this off. This is a frost proof nozzle and see the water that comes out. If you don't drain that out, that water that just came out of there will freeze inside that wall. The spigot won't leak, but when you go to turn it on in the spring, there's a pipe right there that is in between where that water just came out. That can burst. All of a sudden, you're out there watering the grass early in the spring, and somebody screams, there's water all over the basement. Now we got to call a plumber and change that out. So right now, today, while it's not super cold, go, I don't care, you don't have to put the hose away. That's none of my business. But just unscrew it and make sure that that water all comes out of there. Uh, number two. Uh, let's talk about um, the uh, dirt and debris that's around your house. If there's a bunch of stuff like that you've packed away for the spring, ladders and all that kind of stuff, and piles of wood that is just a complete mess outside, those are safe havens for rodents. Ooh. And what they're going to do is they get underneath there, under that wood of places like that, and now they're like, hey, it looks like it's warm in here. I'm going to start chewing my way in. So you can uh, bait those areas. First of all, clean them all up. These are indoor and outdoor. Uh, make sure you're choosing the outdoor. This is actually a product that is housed inside of a plastic container. So if you have pets and whatnot, they can't get at it, but the rodents still can't. Remember, you want to bait outside, not inside, because you don't want to draw them in as a food source. But you do want to clean that up. And then repellents like these, these come in these little packets. This one's called Mouse Magic. And then this one is called Mouse Repellent. Both of them come with these packets. They sort of smell like peppermint and rosemary which for us smells really nice but you can place them in areas where even under your sink if you live in an apartment building where uh, you've got a lot of uh, different units in the building that can be a raceway for rodents throw them underneath the kitchen sink that smell will repel them away in the basement areas where if you've ever had issues before they last about 30 days and then you uh, replace them just put that on your calendar replace and finally I get this question a lot about your outside air conditioner. Should you cover it, should you not? This is how I like to cover the AC unit, just at the top, like it's wearing a hat. And yeah. that same rodent issue, Robin, if you buy the covers and you go all the way down, it becomes like a hotel. Ooh. And it's a warm area in the cold. They get inside there. And one thing that rodents love for some reason, they love to chew the wires. Anybody that's had a problem with squirrels or mice chewing up a car where they chew the wires inside a car under the hood and it costs thousands of dollars, the same thing can happen with your AC unit. So buy a little bit of plastic or a tarp over the top, tape it on the top. That's just the part I want to protect is that fan blades, if we get a heavy snow load or ice that can damage it, but leave the sides open, it's perfectly fine. Look at that. That is all news I could use today, Lou. Well done. You're welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have a good weekend. You can check out House you Smarts too. on Saturday afternoons on WGN at 3.30. He's also on WGN Radio with his show, House Smarts Radio. Catch it Saturdays from 7 to 10 a.m. Thanks, Lou. Stocks finished mixed yesterday. The Dow gained 85 points. NASDAQ rose 27, but the S&P sub two points on the session. Morning futures are higher. All right, welcome back. It is uh, Friday, time for our toy.